Hey guys, welcome back to a new video of Wasteland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Now, what I want to do today is I want to head out on a raid. So we're going to head into town. Going to see our lady, Cora. And she's going to give us a little map ski and we're going to find ourselves a cheeky little raid for today. So that's what we're pretty much going to do. Not too sure what's going to happen thereafter see what else we can get ourselves involved in just quickly want to check old mate nick see if he's okay i'm actually gonna go ahead and accept that one only because well there's oats so whenever there's oats i'm gonna try and obtain anyway cora give us a, a decent map for us to play with today so i'm gonna run light I've got two steel axes, which I think should be enough for me to go through the zone and whatnot. And hopefully, we may even get a safe out of it. I'm not too sure how that will go, but we'll see what happens. So, hopefully you guys stick around, check it out, and we shall continue on. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves. I mean, two year anniversary. Hopefully you guys had a decent um, amount of time to get yourselves all the bits and pieces that were involved in that two year, two year anniversary which i found there was a little zone just over here hopefully you guys found everything to be in order you guys got yourself some t5 resources all that sort of jazz and as i mentioned in the previous video in regards to speculating the development timeline hopefully some of those things will come to pass who knows whether it will whether it doesn't I wouldn't say that it's going to go in the order that I described it as. It could be meaning in many other ways. If you guys want to check that out, please check out the previous video in regards to the two-year update. Hopefully, you guys will have um, a bit of um, a better comprehension as I sort of went through it. This is one hell of a pace. Look how big this place is. Wow, okay. And, oh, Jesus. Where did you come from? Okay, so you're in there just sort of, you know, fluffing about and doing your thing. Are you going to... Oh, you're right there too. So he's following you around, which is quite funny, actually. This is the entrance by the looks of things. Oh, there he is. Did you see that? Oh, he... Little cheeky bugger. Came out for like two seconds. Does he do it again? Can I... Can I... Oh, he's left the door open. He's left the door open. He's not doing anything. <laughs> and I took him out. That is hilarious. Actually, that left the door open too, didn't it? Can I actually walk in? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, see? That's that's disappointing. How funny of an exploit that would have been if I had the ability to walk right on in without any sort of, you know, breaking down the doors or anything like that. I just want to quickly check out the top party just so I can... Get a bit of a visual scan up here and there's horsey over there okay cool but that was quite funny <laughs> didn't expect that to happen but you know it happened so let's um head on over i'm going to conveniently bust this door open which only took one <laughs> one swing of the axe and he's got another one for me thank you very much well i've got two and a bit um brown musket I'll take that. I'll take your bandages as well. And uh, let's get into it. What is over here for me? What have you got for me, buddy? What do we have in the broken car? You know what? I wish you could actually fix the broken car. And yet that way you'd have two levels. You've got the wagon being one, and then you've got the broken car, which will be, you know, a, you know, sort of your way to the wagon. So a little broken car, you can fix that up, repair it, and then you can have that for a little bit of extra space. And then from thereafter, you have a little bit more that you can utilize thereafter, which being, you know, in the form of the wagon. I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking. What I'm actually really excited about was the, the talk about me discussing, yes, cool, um, discussing the horse breeding speculation. So again, I'm going to reference last video, and if you guys want to check that out, please check that out. It seems to be a massive base. This is full on. You know what I didn't actually get? I didn't get any dynamite. 
and I've just realized that I do not believe I have any dynamite with me here so I might have to head back home and grab a few oh I didn't actually see we had that for the compensation oh okay I will um, take a look ski of him and just see what was given to me with that but I do not believe I have have. I've got a lot of stuff in here, I tell ya. Um, do I have any dynamite? I do not. It doesn't look good, and I don't think I've actually crafted any in a good while, but I'm hoping that I do have some. Question mark? Maybe? Who knows? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit later, but let's continue on. Anyway, back to what I was saying before. So, what I was discussing was, ooh, take those I do get distracted a lot I do get distracted a lot I'm not going to take any of those right now but yeah so pretty much what I was discussing is things for the future update what to expect and what to you know what can we what could we expect coming with new updates so I sort of went on a bit of a ramp in regards to just that so one thing I sort of discussed was the what some of the uh, NPCs were discussing with you when you, you know, when you sort of spoke to them and all that sort of stuff. And why are you breaking that? Oh, okay. I don't know why. I don't understand why you're breaking that, but you're breaking that anyway. Yeah. So discussed a few other things. What some of the NPCs were saying. And why can't I interact with that for? That is really weird. Anyway. Yeah. So discussing that what the possibilities could lie with future updates whenever they decide to come and what that looks like and what to expect possibly and one thing that sort of you know caught my attention was um, horse breeding so horse breeding could be a thing coming to Westland maybe hopefully that'd be really good because I, I believe Grimsoul does that to an extent I mean, look, I haven't played Grimsoul in such a long time, so if any of you guys currently play Grimsoul, let me know how that sort of works at the minute. I believe you can sort of upgrade your, if you find a better horse, you can sort of you know, change over to him, and then you sort of move on from that, but that's all that I'm aware of. I don't think there's any actual sort of breeding, you know, so to speak, or anything, you know, to that description there, so, but I figured... I'll grab some of that while I'm at it. Um, yeah, so that was something that I felt that was interesting. Um, I don't think anyone actually spoke about it, to be honest with you. And that's why I wanted to sort of touch on that, you know, myself and sort of get a better, you know, grasp of it. And if you guys were sort of interested in yourself to know that, that's what I sort of wanted to, you know, point out for you guys. And at least, you know, we can have a bit of a discussion, but I noticed that not, not a lot of other people you know, sort of spoke about or wanted to speak about it because there wasn't really much going in the comments, unfortunately. You know, it is what it is. I guess a lot of people are just excited about the whole update as it is anyway, so I get that. I understand. And that's why I sort of wanted to bring it up here while we, you know, while we're raiding, I guess. There's a lot of stuff coming through here. My goodness. I'm sort of trying to break my way, make my way through. All right, that's all connected now. That's all cool. Let me see what's in this big box over here. What do we have? Uh, absolutely nothing. Nothing that I really wanted. Okay, let's bust open this. How am I doing with these? Okay. Actually, not doing too badly, to be honest with you. Ooh. Three fried fishies. I'll grab that while I'm at it. And I totally forgot about this. So let's go ahead and open that. And I've got the Colt Patterson. Fortunately, not what I really wanted. I was kind of hoping like a Winchester or something or other. Uh, but I did see somewhere on the Discord that someone has a, I think it was some sort of variation of the Winchester rifle and it does over 1400 damage and 100 attack speed. I want that. <laughs> I want that so badly. I just want to play with it. I just want to see how what it's all about and have a really good time with that. But yeah, I'm, you know, Hopefully I'll get something like that eventually, but right now um, I don't have that luxury. So yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, as we're sort of progressing along, what do I have over here? Nice little corridor. I actually don't mind the layout. Uh, sorry, the layout of this base uh, looks pretty good. 
it's pretty good very boxy obviously um, a lot going on I mean if you were to do this for yourselves I mean it's not a bad little bad little setup you can make little nooks and crannies and all that sort of stuff and you know for me I mean I for me this would take ages to make and just to sort of construct everything I'm getting a lot of steel now so I'm actually really happy with that don't have to craft them myself but oh man I'm getting really distracted with all this so far there's no oh there's the horse the horse little saddle place thing which I can't get through I don't think there's anything else I can get around this way unless if I go over here but thank god there's no um, stone area yet I mean I'll say that now and then I'm gonna get shafted later on but we'll see how that you know materializes if it does um, ooh good I'll grab some more of that um, basic saber I'm not really too worried about that I will grab that thank you very much um, I didn't break this down yet so let's break it down and see what we get from it uh, still pickaxe Springfield the folding shotgun you know what some really good uh, grinding area weapons so I don't you know I don't want to forever craft things that I don't really need to or if I'm just going to do it for the sake of um, you know crafting and things like that also farming and all that sort of jazz oh this is another thing I wanted to bring up as well I don't know if you can see it on screen you should be able to see it but it's raining in a zone which is really cool so this is part of their, um, their little update that they sort of did so um, I'm not too sure what they actually call it I'm going to be calling it uh, dynamic weather changing I think it's awesome and I know that uh, Mutiny actually received the same update, believe, uh, believe it or not. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about uh, when I'm discussing Mutiny, it's a very new game that's been in development for the better part of a year. Check that out. Did you see that? That was oh I'm spewing that. I interacted with the uh, with the workstation when that happened. That is absolutely amazing. The way that that looks, it just brings a whole new game dynamic and it's visually pl um, pleasing for me I, I absolutely love it absolutely love it so yeah uh, Mutiny it's a brand new game it's been in development for a better part of a year as I mentioned and it's made by the same developer so it's a very very similar game to that of Westland obviously off the Kefir engine and yeah it's promised to bring some awesome awesome things I'm currently covering it at the moment, so if you guys want to check that out, definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, it is a really, really good game so far. I'm really enjoying myself with it. Um, I'm just going to break out of here real quick. Don't want to... No, don't break any of that. Break this. Break this. Okay, now I can interact with that. How difficult was that to get to? Okay, well, was it really too... Um, you know, isn't really too eventful, but is what it is. Let's see what's over in here. Well, I can't get through here for some reason. But let's just break down everything that I see in front of me. And every single time, okay, cool. Every single time, there's got to be a workstation or something in front of me that's preventing me from, you know, moving forward with everything. So, eh, what do you do? Okay, there you go. Look at that lightning. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's just awesome. Okay, so decent heals. So I'll take what I can take. And we're going to have to head back home. And is that the well? That is the well. That's a very good looking well. That's been upgraded considerably, as you can see. There's a stick of dynamite. Well, it doesn't appear to be any sort of stone area for me to break through, which is disappointing because I was sort of kind of hoping it's for a safe. I didn't really talk about it because I don't, I didn't really want to, you know, sort of jinx it. But I was thinking it, and unfortunately, ooh, we got some tubes. Uh, let's go ahead and open up all of those actually. Okay, deputy's pants, not bad. Coach gun, not bad. Cowboy jacket, not bad. Fur boots, not bad. 
and we've got some simple boots. Cool. So, not too bad. Not a bad little haul. And you can hear the thunder too. It, amazing. And they did say for us audiophiles, well, myself included, um, some decent sounds coming our way, which they held true to that. So really, really, really happy with how they sort of did that. Okay. But yeah, as I was saying before, I really wanted to sort of touch on a few things and the, the horse breeding for the, um, with that fella there really, really stood out. It really stood out. There was a couple of other things as well that sort of um, mindly stood out um, that hinted to a few things here and there. Um, definitely go ahead and watch that video just to sort of give you guys a bit of a better understanding, a little bit more context to what I was sort of going on about. And hopefully that sort of gives you guys a better impression as to what I was sort of, you know, referencing, talking about, all that sort of good stuff. But I think we're pretty much good here. Um, you know what, I'm going to... No, 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 no. Let's find a suitable way to get out of here, which would be here. There we go. One hit. And we've got a few things that we can sort of stock up. I can be a little bit cheeky on that one there. Unfortunately, I don't want to use, overuse the use of my, um, my oats. And I'm only using that strategically, obviously, for, you know, carting around the wagon where, where I need to, how I need to kind of thing. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you guys are well aware of how that works now. And if you guys don't, please, I've made some videos just about that alone, just to sort of give you guys a better way to utilize the wagon. And I'm hopeful that doesn't change anytime soon. But what I do want to sort of touch on with regards to that is that if there's going to be a breeding of horses, hopefully it gives us better efficiency on using less oats. Now, I think that sort of will tie everything in in using the wagon a lot more frequently. I think you guys will probably start using it a lot more if that's the case. And that's where I'm sort of thinking that's where it's heading in that sort of sense. But who knows what could happen with the next update to Westland, where they sort of go, what sort of direction they want to take. And if it's something that, you know, a lot of people will enjoy or whether or not they may not enjoy it. Not too sure. I'm just going to break out of this a little bit over here just to sort of get my way around just that little bit quicker um definitely can't interact with whoops yeah definitely can't interact with um with a stable here or anything like that so that is all good got the saber over there not really interested in the saber i'm obviously going to make a couple of trip, uh, trips coming up and back and things like that so i may grab that and possibly that for now and we'll definitely head back to the base. Um, you had absolutely nothing that I wanted. You only had little bits and pieces, whatever that might be. And that's pretty much it. I mean, nice little casual video for you guys. Decent raid, few good things here and there, like the base layout, MC Dodger. Not too bad, my friend. Not too bad whatsoever, but I'm gonna race back home and dump a few things as you can see i've still got my wagon parked up here and only because that i'm farming the iron mines up here up north so i'm sort of making my way up and back a few times here and there just to stock everything up on the wagon side of things once that's completely full i'm definitely going to bring everything back here and then obviously i'm going to um, uh, craft up all the uh, uh the basalt that i wanted to get and i did do, do this in a couple of videos back from this one so yeah i'm still working on it and i'm only working on that purely so i can start upgrading everything here and just sort of do a bit of a reshuffle of the of the base the layout all that sort of good stuff so that's going to come but i'm still sort of trying to iron out and sort of peg down how i want want it to look i've got an idea and i think i've sort of worked out a way that i want to do it and let's just quickly go into the build menu real quickly and I just want to sort of muck around with the workshops just real quickly. It requires shale floor, four by four, and that needs a four by four. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's it's basically a tile, like a four square block. So four tiles. So that's sort of going to impede the, how I sort of wanted to sort of construct it in the first place, um, which is really, really annoying for me because only that 
I wish they sort of had it resonated to one tile. I know that Mutity does that as well. And the way that I had it, the way that I'm thinking about setting it up in the way that I've done it in Mutiny sort of worked for me, but I don't think it's going to work here, which is really annoying. So I don't know whether or not do I do possibly maybe three by three um, areas. So sort of sanction them off in that sort of sense there. So I'll make three by three rooms. And I think that I might actually end up doing that. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. And I'm just sort of wanting to make it a flowy effect. A little bit nice, but everything's just everywhere at the moment. And the biggest problem is I sort of did this to myself as well. And I didn't really st um, start changing everything until the latest update. And now that the latest update has come, it's making my life a lot harder to move everything around because I have to upgrade floors and things like that. So I, I only did just basic wood just for now because it's obviously an easy consumable um, uh, material that you can use. But if you're gonna go beyond that to say like uh, pine floors and things like that and above that, it's just gonna cause a bit of a strain and it's just a pain. And I really don't wanna deal with that just yet, but I'm gonna have to and it's going to have to happen shortly. But my theory was basically, I'm going to have a um, storage container, uh, corresponding workstation, and then maybe a big chest. And I think that's how I sort of want to do it, but I don't know yet. And that's that's the biggest thing I'm, I'm sort of, you know, trying to sort of work my way around and making it so, but the problem is something like this, and this is not going to work. So I'm going to have to sort of make a little bit bigger of an area for me to, you know, sort of capitalize on that before that sort of works out. I don't know. But anyway, I think I've gone ahead and sort of taken most of your time today, guys. So appreciate you stopping by as always. So leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this one and what you think about speculation to future updates of uh, Westland Survival. And if you guys are new to the channel, enjoyed what you've seen, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway guys, take it easy and as always I will catch you guys next time.